who is working to the Sandanese people to find new ways to prolong the shelf life of the local food. Uh, welcome, uh, Repa. Um, can you please present yourself uh, and, and then uh, share your story? Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you all. So it's starting here. Yeah, present yourself and then you share your, your presentation. Your okay, program. I will share it. Thank you. Yes, wait a second. By the way, Repa, happy food design day. <laughs> yeah, happy food design day from Indonesia. Hello everyone. Some person, some person is native Sundanese language to say hello everyone from Sundanese. My name is Reba Kustipia, a gastronomist from Gastro Tourism Academy, Tasikaya, West Java, Indonesia. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, uh, the Ford Foundation, so I can present about future Sundanese ethno food recipes in World Food Design Day 2021. So how I start? Well, Sindanese people is a society, an ethnic community, indigenous people in West Java. West Java is in Java Island in Indonesia. Have you visited Indonesia? If you not yet to visit Indonesia, yeah, I will tell you, we have a lot of locations, a thousand islands. And then uh, we have only two uh, locations, uh, like rural area and urban area. And I'm from rural area, so this is the ethnic food, yeah? We call it a Sundanese. Sundanese is an ethnic in West Java. So rural area in West Java, a lot of Sundanese community. The popular of uh, this community is food from forest and garden. So we call it ethno food because uh, we consume from uh, ethno, uh, ethnic uh, community so that this community is potential to grow an ethno food in every uh, single uh, day and in every their home. So what is in uh, ethno food for Sundanese people? Ethno food for Sundanese people come from forest and local garden. And when we cook Sundanese recipes using slow technique, for example, just boil and that's it. And this is a very a futuristic, I think, no, yeah, because we know in a pandemic uh, situations, we need a transformation, for example, for our food system also. So we are focusing for a gastro tourism sector. It kinds of uh, tourism sector in yeah local area, but it's still um, yeah it's it's a good potentials to uh, to create uh, to create a good food and then a good menu for the future or for tomorrow. I think it's really uh, relevant for today. So what uh, what kind of menu from Ethno Food? Uh, I will stop share and I will uh, show you about the books. This is the. Uh, the original books uh, came from uh, Netherlands because Sundanese have uh, two influencers uh, from uh, France uh, and then from Portugal. Uh, sorry, uh, from uh, Netherlands and from uh, Portugal. For uh, Sundanese area came from uh, colonial, uh, colonialism from the Netherlands. So I have this uh, uh, vegetarian uh, cooker who influenced the Sundanese food. Can you see? Uh, these are from our vegetables uh, in Netherlands have uh, this menu called uh, saladis and in Sundanese also, this is a Sundanese, uh, Sunda, yeah? uh, but this is in, in Indonesia. So I will show you how uh, the Netherlands can influence uh, Sundanese, uh, Sundanese uh, menu. Yeah? So I will share again uh, to see how uh, Sundanese, uh, sorry, how Sundanese people can influence uh, from the uh, menu. Well, the uh, what kind of new menu from Ethno Food from the Netherlands came uh, from uh, saladis and uh, vegetables, and from origin Sundanese uh, is a uh, protein also. So let's see the uh, the the future, the photo what I get. This is the traditional stove. So there is no gas, there is no electricity, and just uh, uh, just collect the menu and we eat together. And the the last uh, the last uh, photo is uh, gastro tourism. So that uh, from a single plate to uh, 
a big lab, yeah, to consume uh, in a tourism or a picnic. We we call it uh, ngariung. Ngariung it's also uh, yeah to 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 meet with another friend and then we we are enjoy the food and this is uh, for a picnic area. So that yeah, it's very uh, different uh, situation. So in in uh, uh, in a second picture is a forest, but in a, a second uh, or, or the third picture is uh, in like a restaurant, like a local Sundanese uh, cafe. So the philosophy uh, for uh, Sundanese people to create a menu or to create future menu uh, is uh, there is a four uh, sector. For the first is the cultural. The food can use for local festival or uh, celebrations. The second is a history. The food creator can tell about historical impact. For example, Sundanese a kingdom uh, in West Japa and blah, blah, blah. And the people can enjoy that. So this is the local attractions to serve the menu. And then the third is a contemporary. It also allows Sundanese youth to consume ethno food recipes, ethno food product as main course, snake and beverage. And the last is a religion. There is a very a special uh, segment because uh, every every uh, the majority of uh, Sundanese people is a Muslim. So there is uh, the the majority. Of course, we need uh, halal food if using food technology. So if any company or a food company want to sell a. Uh, Sundanese uh, food, so just uh, think about for the halal food also because yeah, there is uh, uh, many Islam for uh, conservative and uh, modern. Yeah, there is uh, there is a religious uh, concepts in uh, indigenous people. And then the last, I tell you how to make a bajigur. So if you are uh, want to write it, just uh, just uh, write. Uh, this is a very simple recipe. Please provide two tablespoon palm sugar and 100 milliliter warm water. And after that, you just drink. So this is a simple of a bajigur uh, recipes uh, from the Sundanese uh, community. So I think just enough to create or to inform about uh, ethnicity, about religions, about the cultural. So there is a concept about a future food. The conclusions about the future food from a uh, Sundanese uh, community is uh, to uh, collaborate with a tourism sector. And, and also, yeah, the potential of banana leaves, bamboo, and lontar leaves is really potential. So that's, uh, there is a can collaborate with a food company. Thank you. Great, great, Repa. It's amazing. Um, we're very happy to share um, your work uh, and uh, to give you voice uh, uh, in this uh, global uh, food designers uh, community. Um, I would like to ask you uh, first to, to tell us how do you say Happy Food Design Day in your language, in Indonesian? Happy Food Design Oh, in Indonesia, Selamat Hari Desa, uh, apa, Desain Makanan. Jadi, uh, Selamat Hari Desain Makanan. If uh, Sundanese is uh, Selamat uh, Nyendaharun. <laughs> so, it's really, uh, really no, I... for, for, uh, for uh, ethnic, ethnic language and um, national language. Yeah. Uh, uh, and also, can you, uh, you, you can type it for us in the chat and we will share it in social media. Just uh, okay. let the, the world know how to say happy food design day in your language. <laughs> and, and, and also, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing how you, you, um, you, you work with the local communities and uh, you, you, um, you bring impact uh, um, and, and help them. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, we are happy to, to have you here. and. Uh, we would love to we would love to visit you one day and and, and taste uh, that amazing recipes that you are uh working uh, with uh, thank you for being with us thank you pedro thank yeah you. thank Is you pedro and thank you for uh, for coming no go ahead go ahead no uh, uh, Maybe if there is any question for her uh, in the